Welcome to Intercession for Life. Today, we're diving into an incredibly important topic, how to prepare for the rapture and the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Revelation chapter 22 verse 20, we read, Even so, come, Lord Jesus. These words encapsulate the hope and anticipation we should carry as believers. As we explore this theme, let's focus on practical ways to prepare for Christ's return. Segment 1, The Importance of Looking Forward to His Return. One of the most profound ways to prepare for the return of the Lord is to look forward to it with eager expectation. In Hebrews chapter 10 verses 24 to 25, we are encouraged to consider one another and provoke each other unto love and good works, not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together. This highlights the importance of gathering with fellow believers, especially as we see the day approaching. Imagine waking up each morning with the thought, today could be the day. This mindset fosters a passionate desire and deep longing for His second coming. By focusing on the return of Christ, we shift our attention from the temporary distractions of this world to our eternal home. The enemy wants to keep us preoccupied with the hustle and bustle of daily life, but we must resist this trap. When we maintain our focus on Christ's return, we're more likely to live lives of holiness and purpose. Segment 2. The Parable of the Ten Virgins in Matthew chapter 25 verses 1 to 13, Jesus tells the parable of the ten virgins. Five were wise and prepared with extra oil for their lamps, while the other five were foolish and unprepared. This story teaches us that preparedness is essential. If we truly look forward to the return of the Lord, we will cultivate a spirit of alertness and readiness, always examining our lives for areas that require adjustment. Ask yourself, if you knew Jesus was coming back today, how would you change your behavior? Would you forgive quickly, avoid temptation, and focus on love? Living with this expectation helps us to stay away from sin and encourages us to walk in righteousness. Segment 3. Making the Lord your first love. Another crucial step in preparing for Christ's return is making the Lord your first love. In Revelation chapter 2 verses 4 to 5, Jesus addresses the church in Ephesus, saying, You have left your first love. It's easy to become so involved in ministry, work, or other activities that we neglect our relationship with God. We must return to the foundational truth that love for God is paramount. Matthew chapter 22 verse 37 tells us to love the Lord with all our heart, soul, and mind. Reflect on your relationship with God. Have you placed other priorities above Him? If so, it's time to repent and rekindle that passion for Christ. Consider all that He has done for you. He gave His life for your salvation. How can we not respond with love and devotion? When He is our first love, we are naturally drawn closer to Him and His return. Segment 4. Remembering Christ's Promises of Heaven A key aspect of preparing for the Lord's return is remembering His promises of heaven. In John chapter 14 verses 1 to 3, Jesus assures us, In my Father's house are many mansions, if it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. This promise should fill our hearts with hope and anticipation. As believers, we are reminded that our citizenship is in heaven, Philippians chapter 3 verse 20. We may be in this world, but we are not of this world. Focusing on the eternal promises of Christ strengthens our resolve to live for Him each day. When we visualize the heavenly Jerusalem, we are encouraged to keep living faithfully in our present lives. Segment 5. Practical Steps to Prepare Now, let's summarize some practical ways to prepare for Christ's return. Eager Expectation Begin each day with the anticipation that Jesus may return at any moment. This perspective will transform how you live, prompting you to focus on holiness and righteousness. Stay connected with other believers, regularly gather with fellow Christians to encourage one another, pray, and grow in faith. This helps maintain your spiritual fervor. Make Jesus your first love, evaluate your priorities and ensure that your love for God takes precedence over everything else. Spend quality time in prayer and His Word. Hold fast to His promises, remind yourself daily of the promises of heaven. Let these promises inspire you to live a life that honors Christ. Live a life of holiness, strive to keep your heart pure and your actions aligned with God's word. This prepares you spiritually for His imminent return. Closing Remarks As we conclude, remember that the return of Jesus Christ is not just a distant hope but a present reality we should actively prepare for. Let's hold on to the words of Revelation chapter 22 verse 12, where he says, Behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me. May we be found faithful, eagerly awaiting his return. I encourage you to reflect on these principles in your daily life. And remember, if you found this teaching helpful, please like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below.
Let's pray together, asking God to help us be prepared for His coming. Prayer Heavenly Father, we thank you for the hope we have in your return. Help us to stay vigilant, make you our first love, and hold on to your promises. May our lives reflect our anticipation of your coming. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Closing music. Thank you for joining me today on Intercession for Life. Until next time, may you walk in his grace and peace.